Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day, and today, we got a brand new setup, y'all! Look at this! What is going on, everybody? And yes, we have a brand new setup today. We're also jumping into alchemy today, which is obviously different for the channel, but uh, I just wanted to let everybody know we have genuinely like redone the entire setup. The whole desk is brand new. We're really working hard to kind of get things in order, get things where it needs to be, all that stuff, but it is a work in progress. So over the course of the next couple videos, we may see some differences, things like that in the face cam aspect. Most importantly, I can stand now which is what I'm doing. Look at that. Uh, we also have a 4K video feed versus the previous. And so we, hopefully the face cam will be a little bit better quality. It also allows for a couple of other new setups. We'll talk about those later, but without further ado, let's talk about today's deck. This is Mono Green uh, Verdant Rejuvenation created by the amazing Mana Man. So Mana Man, thank you so much, my friend. I do appreciate you sharing this over on Aether Hub. That is where I found it. This deck is sick. I have played it once, and it's ridiculous. Um, the idea being that this thing ramps harder than any deck I have ever seen. Uh, it literally just ramps, 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 and then jumps into Storm the Festival or Verdant Rejuvenation or any manner of other big things. You can see we've got quite a number in our... Uh, our top five to, to six drop slot and then above. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, like I said, you're basically ramping. So a lot of the early turns are dedicated to some of these ramp spells uh, that we've got here. And then we do have Blizzard Brawl that can fight stuff off if we need to. So we've got a lot of options here, um, but it's a pretty straightforward list. I, I don't want to waste too much time kind of talking about it because it's pretty straightforward. We'll hopefully see it in action and hopefully see it do really well. So let's jump right in guys again i just want to say mana man thank you so much my friend uh if you guys don't know by the way mana man does a lot of alchemy videos please go check him out he is a great resource for those kinds of things uh and in fact he's just a really fun dude to hang out with anyway so go hang out with him enjoy his content learn from his content Hopefully we can take some of the things that he talks about and some of the things that he shows off on his channel and put it to work here. So let's jump in. Let's see what we can do. Let's have some fun. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. This is a pretty bad hand, though. I uh, gotta be honest. Lots of lands, which is good, but two verdant re rejuvenations, rejuvenations, that's hard to say, uh, is a little bit tricky. I think I'm gonna go, yeah, let's, let's keep this. This is a little bit easier for me to reconcile, so... Let's definitely keep this. I'll throw one of our forests back since we've got a handful and we can obviously pull more with the, de the the hand that we have here. I do like to see one rejuvenation or some kind of big spell in the opener because we can get there relatively quickly. Uh, it's worth actually having in there. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll just pass. I do like Lair of the Hydra as well. It just gives us an opportunity to either block or attack in depending on what we need to do in the early turns. We'll see what the opponent is looking to do here. Uh, I will go ahead and say I've only played alchemy a handful of times as you guys know uh, And so there's a lot of learning for me to do here uh, that I do hope you guys will you know uh, Understand as we go through um, Let's do this I'm just gonna do this Play this out for one uh, We get to drop this which is great uh, And then yeah, we'll just go ahead and play the cultivator pretty easy uh let's go ahead and throw one on the battlefield this opens up some some later plays which is obviously great it also gives us all the snow lands we need for the blizzard brawl which is awesome all right there is the gold span uh okay it's interesting in alchemy because it doesn't have the when you target it ability which is kind of interesting normally obviously that that is the case and so it's a bit odd to see that uh but it's okay. We do have Blizzard Brawl, which we might be able to use to kind of deal with some stuff here. Dragon's Fire, annoying, but okay. I don't, I'm, I'm not particularly worried about that. Okay, so we can Topiary Stomper and then just Blizzard Brawl. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that land. We'll go ahead and Blizzard Brawl. Get that out of there. And then we actually just get a free attack in here for one, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I like that. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, we do have quite a number of other things available here. That's not great, but we're getting close to the rejuvenation. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, we also have Settle the Wilds. Hmm. We don't have a permanent that we can actually seek here is the only trick. That's nice. All right, well, I'm just gonna go for Storm the Festival here. I think this is just the highest value play. Obviously, they're running red, so I'm not really worried about too much else here. Ooh, I like all of these. Okay, let's do this. Um, hmm. It's actually potentially just a land uh, because it does give us the rejuvenation, or it gets us close to re rejuvenation. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and create that tree folk. Uh, this is going to give us a blocker, of course, for the gold span dragon, which is great. And then we actually get an attack four or five in here. So, yeah, seems pretty good. This also opens up the attack with the uh, topiary stumper, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So that allows us to attack in here as well, which is great. Feeling okay. Um, obviously, one thing to note, they could be able to kill this by doubling up on some spells or you know something like that which is annoying or they could just kill the Ren and seven which is also a possibility but uh this is certainly a more commanding board presence than they have at the moment it looks like yeah that's fine let's go ahead and attack for five here get them down to 14 and we'll pass let's see what they're up to uh, Mana Man, I'm loving the deck, man. I I love a good feel-good style deck, and uh, this certainly kind of fits the bill, in my opinion. Uh, interesting. Target non-basic land. Okay. Unless you sacrifice it. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I, again, am learning alchemy very, very quickly here, uh, and I have not actually seen that card. Okay. I think we just do this. Hmm. Let's attach it here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I like that a lot. All right, sick. So, yeah, there we go. We did it. That was game one, and we got the win. Man, a man, representing you good, my friend. Uh, <laughs> that's a sentence. Let's jump into game two. <laughs> The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we need a couple of lands here, but I actually don't mind this. Uh, if we do draw an extra land, we're in great shape because we're ramping into turn three here. So let's, let's hope for the best. Kami of the Bamboo Groves. What a great turn one play. Man, oh man, you did, really did a good job putting this deck together, in my opinion. I think uh, it's just super fun. Super, super fun. Uh, like I said, I love a good feel-good deck, and this just really fits the bill, in my opinion, because, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You're ramping into big stuff, and that's kind of awesome. <laughs> um, all right, well, first things first, we'll just get an attack in. I'm just going to go ahead and put the Topiary Stomper here. We, of course, need to get as many lands as we can, so I feel like this is kind of the way to go. Uh, this also deck thins us just slightly, uh, and every little instance of deck thinning is generally good for a deck like this, in my opinion, so seems pretty straightforward to me. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and attack for one. Let's go ahead and drop the Defend the Temple. Okay. Cool. Uh, fair enough. We should have played the land first. Bit of a mistake on our end. Uh, but today I learned, so that's cool. Undersimplified. What an interesting... Alright. Again, I mean, pretty straightforward. I am gonna seek two non-land cards. Okay. What an interesting card. Again, guys, there's so much I just don't know about this format. So, like, I'm if you see me being amazed at every little detail, it's because I am amazed at every little detail. <laughs> um, now we can go for this. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, I fully expect they're going to do some really broken stuff at some point. If this format, just in general, feels like a broken-ish format where you can start to do some really good stuff, I love that. I think it's really, really fun, um, but it certainly is a bit scary. 
if we draw a land off the top, that means Topiary uh, Stomper can actually start attacking in. Ooh, this is Reanimator. I'm assuming. Uh, that's scary as heck. Might be Mizium Mortars, too. Is that what it's called? Not Mizium Mortars. Mizium, whatever. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and do this. Are they light on lands? Am I the only one seeing that? Alright, let's definitely attack in here for a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Give ourselves as many of these as possible. Alright, here we go. Um, let's see what we can do. This turn could be a very, very scary turn. Uh, it's curious because they had the Magma Opus to play the Faithful Mending, and now they just don't have white mana. So, that's cool. I'm good with that. Um, it's not Mizium Orders. Mizzix Mastery. Is that this deck? Is that even in Alchemy? I have no idea. This is such a learning experience for me, guys. Alright, they're passing. Fascinating. Alright, so this is gonna turn into the little dragon boy. Uh, Remnant of the Rising Star. Uh, I just inventoried a bunch of those from uh, <laughs> Iconic Masters, I believe. Uh, let's just try for this now. I don't see a huge reason not to. Uh, if we do get a land, then we actually can attack with the Topiary Stomper, so I'd rather do this now. Sick. Um... I guess we'll throw some counters around. I think we kind of want to get it to above a 5-5 five five if we can. Normally I would say let's attack with the Faceless Haven, but I feel like this is important enough with the Jenga Taxis in the graveyard. They perpetually gain... Okay. Sure. That's fine. So I'm just going to pay the four. Just to make it huge uh and we'll attack in all right well next turn we do have lethal uh so let's see what the opponent is looking to do here uh and there we go we did it guys that's two wins man a man representing you well there it is all right let's jump into game number three all right guys here we are for game number three let's see if we can keep it up we are doing really really well so far if we draw another basic forest, we or any land really, we're in phenomenal shape. So we're gonna we're gonna test fate one more time. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, we'll go ahead and oops, just submit. Yes. Aha. Uh, so now we just hope to draw a land. Literally any land. That is not a land. Uh, that is less than ideal. Um, do we even play this out? I think no. I think we wait. I'd almost rather just channel this just to, to get some more um, lands in the hand. All right, they're gonna portable hole? That's fine. It doesn't really help us to play a second one. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, we'll just channel this out. This is a bad start, as it turns out. Um, even worse. All right, so, um, let's go ahead and do this, because we literally like have that. Um, Alright, forest. Yeah! Do this! <laughs> Get another forest! Yeah! Alright, sick. Now we're getting somewhere. We can honestly just settle the wilds next turn and uh, start to do some major stuff. They're gonna exile the 1 1, I see. No, they're just gonna first strike this. Okay, sick. It's very good. Ugh. Alright, so let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not much we can do there. We're just gonna have to pass. I would love to get a Renin 7, uh, just so we could drop that and block. Wow, Rabble Rousing in Alchemy. Hmm. Didn't know that was really a thing, but I'm into it. I like it. Uh, yeah. Sick. Three, four, five, six. So we have six mana available. Seven mana available. There's the battlefield. Seek a land card. That seems semi-helpful. Um, albeit this might be more helpful. Just to gain a few life. 
No, let's uh, let's do this. Let's seek a land. This will give us an extra one for later, which is useful. And unfortunately, we just can't attack. All right, so we've got four, five, six, seven mana on the field. Uh, okay, sure. Eight mana on the field. Nine with the land in hand, and we can storm the festival. I would love to rejuvenation, but I just don't think we're gonna get there. Um, I'm actually not gonna block. All right. All right. I mean, I think the play is storm. I, I don't think we've got a, a better option here, so let's do that. Definitely that. That's pretty good. Uh. Take it the hand. Um, we'll do this, so at least we've got something. Alright, and we pass. Alright, so if they attack with everything... Oh man, they just have a answer for everything. So that's going to kill the 8-8, and then we're basically dead. So... They didn't go for the 8-8. Uh, what? Why didn't you go for the 8-8? Can you just win anyway? Maybe they can win anyway. Who knows? Um, it feels like that wasn't... Like, they're gonna have to throw something away. First strike. Okay. They're tapped out. We should have blocked last turn just so they couldn't have activated the rabble rousing. Okay. Legion Angel. Okay. I mean, that's really cool. Interesting. Um, okay, pass. No, nope, go away. I know. <laughs> uh, let's do that. I'm actually going to do that, too. I don't know that that's right, but... Okay. Yeah. That was weird. That was a weird attack. I don't know that I loved that. Um, all right, let's throw land out for sure. I wish we could do a little bit more because we really don't have a lot we can do here. Um, we can storm for quite a bit. Alternatively, we can just play this plus uh, Jugen, which might honestly just be the safer play. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. Um, okay, well, here we are. We still get to do it. Uh, let's attack here. This is gonna die anyway. Uh, so we might as well try and deal some damage in the process. Sure. Interesting they're even blocking here. Uh, yeah, it has blitz, like, okay. So we do get a 4-4 now, and then we get to draw a card. All right, here's the hoping. Oh, well, now we're done. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good game. I'm gonna go ahead and concede here, guys. Man, that was kind of rough, uh, but it's okay. Let's talk about this deck for a minute. All right, so Mana Man, first of all, thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate you sharing this list. This was an absolute blast. Um, again, Alchemy is brand new to me, so I'm learning as I go with this one. I, like I said, did play one game previously just to kind of get a grip around the deck, but it turned out to be really straightforward, and so I just felt like jumping right in. Uh, and Mana Man, I think we did okay with it. I, I think in general, it was pretty good. We got two out of three. Certainly could have done a little better, but overall, I'm very happy with that. I hope everybody enjoyed this one. Uh, again, if you don't know who Mana Man is, he actually took up one of our guest slots just a couple weeks ago. I encourage you, go check him out. Really, really good with the alchemy stuff and uh, really entertaining to watch as well. Uh, so guys, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment. Again, we will be playing around with the setup as we're getting used to it here, uh, but hopefully this is more entertaining. We can kind of do a little bit more and play around with some different angles and stuff. Ooh, yeah, those videography terms. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow.